And we're back. Oh. Not dead. <laughs> we lived. <laughs> we lived. Uh, that was that was scary. This whole place is scary. This whole uh, this whole game is an ever living nightmare, <laughs> and um, our own personal hell. And here we go, righting the wrongs of the world, killing uh, haunted harpies, as I'm gonna call them. Fucked up human bird guys. Yeah. That's way easier to say. Birdman. <laughs> it's it's Baker again, and uh, uh, this is this Jeff Galt again. Yeah, here we are. We're still playing Dark Souls three. We're still making poor decisions. We're still we're still drinking. But we're Sally Forthing. Wait, Sallying forth. And um, don't call me Sally. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Sally is the uh, pantsless squirrel love interest for Sonic the Hedgehog. In the Archie comics, yeah. Uh, the more you know. I am correct. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was into that. Uh, that she is. She is a lot of people's introduction into the furry community. <laughs> it's like, wow, she's she's kind of hot. Maybe, maybe I too am a furry. Oh, these dogs have more health than other dogs. What? Also, I never knew about this cave. This is, this is interesting. Look at his fucking distended belly. It's just terrifying. It is. I, I never knew about Morn's Ring. What does Morn's Ring do? I don't know. No time. We'll figure it out later. Hey, oh, he, he got LASIK too. Good for him. He can really see me. <laughs> in, in high definition, 1080p clarity. <laughs> can see these fists. <laughs> See this fucking claymore? Thought there was a thought there was a fucking monster. There he is. Hey man. He's easy Look, too. We don't have to fight. He didn't have LASIK, but but he doesn't stare at a TV all day. Oh my god. Oh awesome. Oh baby, they hurt. Their their moveset just just fucking sucks. I'm pretty sure there's a guy over your right shoulder. Yeah, he's probably spitting poison. He's spitting poison over there. Oh, oh well. I was incorrect in my assumption. I thought there was like another one of those guys, like over your right shoulder. Now yeah, these guys are fucking useless. So you need the, the drop on them. Serves you right for using magic, bitch. Oh yeah. Rest in peace, Preds. <laughs> we had a but we we have, we have a buddy named Preds, and we we try to squad up with him on Dark Souls, and um, God rest his soul. Uh, he's, he's very skilled at, uh, at, uh, games that are demanding of skill. And this is one of them, which is why, like, one of the allures of, like, like, getting him into it. And he fucking started off as a mage. Like, was it a mage or was it a cleric? It was, like, one of the hardest fucking things to ever, like, just ground level, like, figure the game out. Oh, yeah, no, he picked a cleric. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just ropes and, like, thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, like, like that kind of shit. Well, all this nonsense is going on, and of course he got burnt out on it. He's like, this game's fucking dumb. It's like, you picked a class that's that, 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 that's actively going against your shit. You, you know that, that Press is a character in Swatters. He's, he's... I'm aware. And he's probably <laughs> listening to this right now. <laughs> and, and I'll tell him to his face that he fucked up when he picked a cleric. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he. I thought he re-rolled. He re-rolled a different a different thing. I later. hope for like a fucking knight with like a a shield and a sword. Yeah, he no. Well, I, I don't fucking remember. I just know that he used like like a rapier or some shit. I don't. I th I seem to remember that actually. Cause that's where he got the furthest. Yeah. Well, yeah, because he used anything but the cleric. <laughs> the cleric. <laughs> I I honestly like like I get it like. I was gonna say I don't get it, but I do get it. Like, why Dark Souls would even include a cleric into this, uh, this engine? Oh, I'm definitely getting invaded here. Oh, definitely. Oh yeah, your ember's active and everything. Yeah, you're fucked, man. If only I Thanks. were- If only I were online, on my PS4, to save you. But I am not. I am on a couch next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it all. Being like, like, like drinking a beer and going, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> man, 
Man, I sure wish I could help oh, you. Oh man, you oh. should have killed that dog faster. <laughs> <laughs> man, you suck. Oh man. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in the most low risk situation. <laughs> this, all of this. Unless Bartles gets back. Yeah, that's true. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Uh. It's probably my second least favorite level on Dark Souls. Yeah, it's pretty... You got the crabs, you got the invaders. It's just a bad time. First place would go to the one immediately after this, where the fucking swamp just poisons you, and you uh -huh. gotta, like, tumble through it. Of course. Yeah, that's... So these... these assholes. Oh, God! Oh, that's... that's close. It'll get you. Is that a curse, or is that poison? Poison. Okay. Yeah, it's just... getting lost in the maze Fuck. of these... of these woods. These assholes that, like, aren't particularly challenging. You just gotta fucking run it through them. They're not fun. They're not... They're not particularly engaging, it's just like, well, I better fucking run in there and wail on, like, all of them at once. There's not, there's a lot of enemies in this area, and yeah, they're all, it's... like, hidden behind trees and shit. Like this guy. Yeah. Where the fuck was he? There's random dogs, they're just chillin'. Uh, those beasts that, like, have, like, crucifixes on their back that are, like, fucking insane. Oh, yeah, we haven't even had the luxury of hanging out with them. Uh, not yet, stay tuned. I'm sure in this playthrough we'll we'll eventually find one of those assholes. While these guys, the shish kebab crew, <laughs> are trying to poke their way into glory. There's a dog around here somewhere. Right there. Yep. Yeah. It's a bad puppo. It's a bad pupperino. Fuck you, pups. Needed to be put down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why not all dogs can go to heaven. Sad movie. Great movie. Uh, wonderful production by Don Bluth. Uh, fantastic animator. Like, that he is? One of the godfathers of frame by frame animation splendor. Not gonna sit down on that bonfire because I don't want all that bullshit to come back. And then there's this. Granted, at least you've been reimbursing the shards and getting more flasks, so you're in better standing than you were. Oh, but we're gonna fuck that all up by by fighting this asshole. Uh, yeah. Then you can rest. I'm after you, after you fight him, then you have my permission to rest. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's the NPC. This guy's, like, really similar to the guy that was, uh, Oh my god! Oh my god, he hurts. He's the same guy that, that I fought earlier. Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, he looks pretty much identical with the shield and the helmet. Just now he has a better sword. Or is it the same sword? I have no idea. Oh! Baby. Damn, son. Well, you did rest in that long time, yeah? No. I lit it, and I didn't... I but didn't... Now, but now you can transfer from bonfire to that one. Holy shit, I could. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Well... Oh, no, it. it just starts me here. Excellent. Really? Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're All golden, right. baby. All right. Sure. Brevity is... Where am I going? Brevity... Oh, that way. The left, left, left. That, that was skillful, but watch out. Yep, just come out of the ass. Left is your, your path. Oh, never mind, you're here. <laughs> well, I'm, that's even better. Alright, we're gonna put a pin in that guy. We're gonna come back. Alright. Because uh, I haven't leveled up. He, hit, he one shot me. I mean, I, I wasn't at full health or anything, but that guy was hitting like a fucking truck. Totally. 
And, and I guess your, your stats emphasis isn't on armor, particularly. Fuck that. Uh, fuck you, man. Like, <laughs> that's all I do. Oh, there he is. Yep. Nightmare Incarnate. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't even know what these guys are called. They're called, uh, Bane of my existence. Seems like a mouthful. Jesus. They're called dead. Yeah. They're called somebody crucified it, and then it came back to life to fuck more shit up. Also, he has a wife. She's kind of sitting out over here in the corner. They had like an upset tummy, but because of his scourge, damn near like fucked you up. That was a weird little animation that happened. Yeah, a little bit. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. Well, shit, like, we're, we're pretty much at our halfway point, so no reason to go back yet. Yeah, that's for... That shit's for the birds. Well, I don't really know where to go. I mean, going... Further into the breach? In here? Into the blue? Oh, we gotta kill him. Yep. He's gonna... Oh, and then... Oh, of course there's fucking magic. Of course. He, he wants to give LASIK to, to your eyes. Is this him? Is this LASIK Bob? I'm LASIK Bob, hello! <laughs> You won't believe your eyes when you see these deals! And he just shoots lasers in your fucking head. Well, nobody's getting LASIK anymore. <laughs> oh, man. That's what these guys were waiting for. Yeah, they're just waiting in line. They're like, oh, fuck. God damn it. I traveled so far. <laughs> Well, they shouldn't have kept them waiting. It's just, that's just fucking bad customer service. Yeah, that's true. Maybe they couldn't afford it. Like, but I will be able to afford it in like the next couple like years or so. I guess I've just got to wait it out. Come to our waiting lobby. We have sparkly lizards. <laughs> fucking sweet. Excellent. This is where I was... In our probably our hypest moment in uh, co-op Dark Souls moment, uh, Dark Souls oh. two, I was killing these guys, and you were invaded by like two dudes. One was like a spellcaster, and one was like a dude like wailing on you, right? And you were like, help, help, and like I was up these fucking stairs killing these guys with like my halberd as armpit stench. And uh, like I'm like I'm coming. You were down there in the basin of the swamp. And I, and I ran down these fucking stairs after killing these guys, ran out there, fucking sprinted out and, like, leapt off the fucking level and, like, dive-bombed one of those dudes with a fucking halberd. And that was, uh, extremely rad. It's, um, it's good times. Normally, this is a fucking hot spot for fucking PvP. I haven't seen shit. But... Like, is there, are there no level ones? Is, is, is that... So oh, okay. you know, that might be something. Like nobody... Cause yeah, you're 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 base running it. Like, with just like a new level one. Yeah, I'm like turbo noob. Which you know, like it's interesting because I don't know. I guess there is like a kind of a like a bell curve where it's like if you're building your guy to be like a a raider, oh. somebody who invades worlds, you wouldn't want to start over from scratch. Typically, you want to have the biggest and the best PvP bullshit. So you just stay at an advanced level, and you rarely ever restart. But people will restart profiles all the fucking time. So as time goes on, level 1 accounts don't get invaded as much. Fuck it. God, this thing's worse. Oh no. How the hell? You get killed by Crab Man. He was in a crabby mood. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, <laughs> man. You know what? I don't. Out. <laughs> I, I quit. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just fucking under level because you he fucking he hits like Aunt Jemima and I don't know how to fucking deal with it. 
First of all, <laughs> what about Aunt Jemima implies that she hits hard? Her fucking Her biceps? Have you seen them? <laughs> she is. She has those strong black woman like flexors. Yeah. You don't fuck with none of her babies. She no. fuck you up. She don't need that around. Aunt Jemima's hot. What? I I date her. Would you, Sarah? If she's down for it, yeah. <laughs> Is that, what just, be, is that what it's just called? Get get syrup? Get, getting syrup? <laughs> get syrup. Well, I, one way or another, one of us is going to wind up sticky, so it'll all be fine. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Fuck you, crab. It's gross. I hate it. Well, he hates you. Look at him. I actually, like, like... The crab isn't as bad for some fucking reason, even though like it, they're, they're, it's kind of the same thing. But I, I do have intense arachnophobia, and um, like that, that, that was that was a thing that like I was experiencing with Skyrim for like the longest time. You need to heal like before you die, <laughs> like Jesus Christ. But yeah, like like that, that, that was the thing I was experiencing with Skyrim, the frostbite, the frostbite spiders, where it's like. I would have like a two-handed fucking broadsword and I would like uh, fight these spiders and the spiders are already creepy enough as they are. They trigger everything in me that like is repellent to this. And then I and then when it, when when you kill them, when you execute them with a broadsword, it reframes them so you're right up on their fucking face when you cleave your broadsword into them, and I'm like, gah, 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 and just like, and it's like, that's all that a whole experience is with that fucking crab. It's like you're right up in front and center with that thing, and I hate it. There's something about those Skyrim spiders. They're like super realistic. It's there was a ton of detail put into them, and I I hate it. I, I it's really terrifying. yeah, really don't like how creepy they are. They also have like twelve eyes. It's not like eight. Of course. Yeah. Because of course they have to be massive, um, uh, cow-sized abominations. You got something against Kathy Bates? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Jesus, man. Jesus, don't Jesus, man, me. You said it. She's a handsome lady. Wow, okay. You know what? She's probably somebody's wife, and she kicks ass at it, and she might even be someone's mom. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she's Mr. Bates' wife. You don't know if it's a dude. And on Fridays, he's <laughs> the dom. So it's he's master on Fridays. And I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm not comfortable with it, but I do know where you're Oh no! With this. I almost just fucking ice this dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? I don't like him. You know what? I kind of don't, but not like he's going to teach me anything. He's like, hey, you're dumb, right? Well, hey, well, this is, a, well, do you, well, this is my. Game. If you haven't. How? how and, you'd, you'd better you not. Sorcery's not. And should you have, you have your own. own don't, don't let it be you on your. You're unkindled. Would Artorias have an have a, have a issue with this guy with his sorceries? Is that fucking demon heresy? You're, you're getting into heresy, man. I don't, I, I'm not inside Artorias. Is it? You know more about Artorias than I do. <laughs> All right, well, he's Artorias was a good guy. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah, watching so you. He probably, he probably doesn't murder dudes. That just has a, a pile of scrolls and he's minding his own business. You're probably right. All right. He's safe for now. <laughs> if I catch him doing any fucking heinous shit, though, I'm coming back. All right. Which you will. And granted, he will never move. <laughs> so... Uh, is this, is, is something... How do I get over there? Oh, okay, I remember. God, you think like, people like lock their knees in this universe? Never. It's, it's undid rule number one. Don't lock your knees. Remember! Like the Grim Reaper when he kills you? Yeah. He's You're like, gonna be staying here for a long, long time. Don't lock your knees. What? Anyway, later. <laughs> what is he? What? What do you mean that I'm gonna be staying here for a long time? Well, you already have the Fallen Knight set. 
if I kill this guy. Hey, he kind of looks like you. Wow, thanks, man. No, I meant his face. Like, he, oh god. What, that he had LASIK? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall to your death. Nope, nope, Don't nope. fall to your death. <gasps> See you oh later, Fetso! Oh my Fetso. god, did that fucking work? Oh no. Didn't for him! But at least it's one on one. So that that helps tremendously. Come on, man. I don't know, he's he's pretty unsure about it. This guy's smart. This guy's uh not dumb as shit. He's Ooh. not gonna go for the fucking pitfall maneuver. He's wily. He's wily with that sword. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you're serious! Basta wolf! I wonder how I did that backing up maneuver. That was kind of neat. I yeah. haven't seen that before. Is the Exile Greatsword a little bit more. Artorius? Uh, definitely. Definitely? Alright. Hey, you saw him, man. He was like flipping around. Yeah. And shit. Oh, he was. Okay, well, we gotta switch. Well, we gotta yeah. switch right fucking now. You gotta get the Fallen Knight shit. You gotta switch. Oh, I can't even use it. It cries. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, you gotta fucking get good. You... Fuck. But but what about your Fallen Knight armor set? Oh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna hook it up. Well, we we can't end this episode until you find your next uh, bonfire pit. And I'm pretty sure that other guy that fell down there didn't die, so he's just waiting in you, waiting for you in that cramped ass room by the next fire. Oh pit. no, he did. He is not dead. Your soul counter did not go up. He is still alive. All right. Well. Let's uh, let's look around here some more. And there's a bonfire at the bottom of that ladder, so I'll just go get that one. When I'm ready. What, what, what way? So, so you can kill more crabs? Yeah. And and another one of those nightmarish fucking crucifix back motherfuckers? Maybe. For why? Spoilers. Yeah, I guess spoilers. I had to get better about that. <laughs> yep. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Even these guys are like, oh. Fuck, Yellowfinger. <laughs> Not him. You know why he's called Yellowfinger? Oh, no. Because he diddled that guy from Sin City. <laughs> Where is it? Where is the guy? Also gotta watch out for crab number two. Pretty sure it's over there. Yellowfinger ain't over here, though, so I don't know where you're... I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, he, like, spawns, like, over here by the... You know what? He might be invisible. Oh, there he is. He is not invisible. There's he is Yellow bright King. red. Yeah, he is the opposite of invisible. He's actually quite conspicuous. Also, he 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 bakes ravioli. <laughs> He's. Other people know him as Boy R D. <laughs> the infamous warrior, Boy R D. Uh, yes. He's just shooting through trees and shit. Chief Boy R D. Infinite mage of crossbows and sickles. Oh, you had a you had a Sunny D. That sucks. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, kill Shish Kebab Franks. There's so much stuff on the screen. I know. Yep. Just means you need to get good, get Fuck good. Yeah. Oh, 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 good, good and gotten. All right, man. Fuck all this. Secure that bonfire, and let's call this an episode, man. But I have to kill more crabs. Well, you could kill more crabs after you... Ah, oh, God. No. Damn it. Well... It calls to me. This is our end, folks. Four SS flasks wasted on a big-ass crab. And you thought you liked sushi. What the fuck is fucking Stick Boy? Yeah, man. He's one with the crabs. <laughs> the Crab Allegiance? Well, yeah, like, he made friends with I crab crabs. allegiance he's to the flag. Oh, fuck. Like, he's a hollow that's been here for, like, however many hundreds of years, thousands of years. And he's like, oh, you're a crab, right? And so the crab's like, oh, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> oh, man, he's getting fucked up, dude. That's and fine. And Shish Kebab Joe ain't, ain't helping things. I'm a crab too, pinch pinch. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a crab. Oh, my crab friend. 
this 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 was a poor choice. I, I'm aware. I suggested that in the beginning. Oh my god, you're gonna die to a crab. Come on, prove me wrong. Oh wow, what what the fuck is this dude? <laughs> what the fuck is this? He bugged the fuck out. What the? Yeah, fuck you. What happened? Yeah, he, he just said, you know what? This ain't worth it. Oh, fuck! My children will avenge <laughs> me. <laughs> Where the fuck? Oh, he's over here. Oh, I guess he is. He's a fucking magician crab. Not Maybe he's either. the one been doing LASIK. <laughs> crab LASIK. <laughs> oh, and of course he's healed the full. The, I'm pretty sure that mate... Alright. I'm... I'm... I'm fairly certain that it's a completely different, unrelated crab. Okay, I don't like this anymore. Yeah, like... I'm gonna fucking thank you. kill him. Get the fuck out of here, guy who has no, no more Mountain Dew copyright protected live, live wire <laughs> TM. Trademark. We didn't we didn't receive a cease and desist at all. <laughs> <laughs> Quit talking about my beverage on your fucking internet program! Hi, this is PepsiCo, and we would like to inform you that you can't just go up and say that, like, you're endorsed by Livewire, Mountain Dew. It's fucked up. All right, everybody. Also, it's not funny. Like, like we, these episodes are probably, like, laid out, like, days apart. <laughs> and this is all, like, the same day. Like, so what, just... What are we what are, the, the guy who's watching this one is like, what the fuck are they talking about Livewire for? Why is that such a big yeah, deal? Yeah, like, that was a call back to, like, like episode two. So, like, sorry. <laughs> Attack of the Clones. It's a great film. Episode two. Uh, this is where the fun begins. When yeah. Obi-Wan throws Anakin and his lightsaber in the pit arena, yeah. he's holding a can of live wire. Don't you know? <laughs> you gotta you gotta look for it. Yeah. You gotta look you gotta pause it at just the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> well anyway. Thanks, fuckers. See you next time. Uh, pe peace in the Middle East. <laughs> I like that'll happen. <laughs> Slam cut. <laughs> just...